several day project, I'm not sure. I think it's 25 acres. Alright, today's mission we're going to take out the RX to a larger bush hogging project that Curtis has. So I'm going to haul the tractor and then if you remember right, when I had this thing set up the way I did, it was by design so that it could be hauled with a pickup truck. So uh, we're going to both head south from here and find a farm. It's got like 25 acres or so that I think needs to be mowed. Okay, so Curtis came over and he was going to haul the bush whacker, the uh, 12 foot bat wing, and I was going to haul the tractor. So the first thing that set us back was my original hitch that I had built for this. I couldn't find it. And I, I usually put things in an area where I'll quote remember to find it, so I couldn't. So I, I grabbed another hitch and I welded a bushing in here just like this, like you see in this original plan and uh, so I got a second hitch going and we'll see how it goes kind of after that. So this is how we got to try and get it on Curtis's truck. Be interesting. 16 hours later and two soaked sweatshirts each. I think we're finally ready to go. Alright, we're loaded up. Took like nine hours it feels like. But we're loaded up. Right Curtis? Yep, already dripping sweat. Oh uh, yeah, I, I already sold, told them two wasted shirts that we're not even moving yet. Yeah. Alright, we're almost to the farm. I uh, put my shirt and my gloves up here to dry. It's almost dry, but not quite. All right, we made it. To the property wow that was an adventure in and of itself so we're all hooked up man that's so easy to hook it up with two people oh, or okay it's easier but uh, definitely ten times easier than one person beautiful woods right in here I tell you we're way down here in southern Illinois we've got to be uh, real close to the Ohio River which is the Kentucky-Illinois border. Nice. I see a cabin or something back there in a clearing. Rock and roll, baby. Turn some tunes on it. Well, that house was a permanent house. We went way past that. Uh, we're going quite a ways in the woods. I didn't really ask how many acres this person owns. But I think we're going to supposed to put 25 of it into a food plot, so... Man, we're going way back off the road. Way back. Wow, beautifully secluded. Way back here. Uh, Curtis did say the bush hogging should be pretty easy, finally, for once. They kind of maintained it. And he's put in food plots this, this year here. There's another field 
uh, not quite as big as this one. So, I mean, he said it's 25 acres total. I guess we'll see how she goes. Okay, so I'm done for the day. I switched shifts with Curtis. He's gonna stay for a few more hours. Um, I mean, I probably got, I was on the tractor for maybe hour-ish, hour and a half. Probably got at least five, four or five acres, give or take. So he's gonna take second shift and keep picking away at it. We're gonna leave the machine here and hopefully we don't get rained out here and get this done in a couple days. So definitely stay tuned.